Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me today is Brian Kaiser. Brian is with Love Revival. If you've ever driven down Chester Street and you see that little building right across from me, Wilson Morrison, he has a sign in the window, and uh, you have a lot of activity going on there at your church on uh, Monday nights. Yes, sir. And uh, you're very, really, he's very community oriented and uh, community minded, and and I uh, we I talk to him quite often and. He says, well, we're starting a new program on Monday night. So I said, well, come in and talk. Tell us about it. So, yeah. Ryan, tell us about it. I sure will. Okay. Thanks for having me on. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, so basically we've always fed people on Friday nights, the last Friday of every month for almost four years now. We fed um, as much as 150, 200 people on those Friday nights. And we also do a community cookout from... August until November, uh, we'll do a bonfire in November when it's you know, a little bit colder. And we feed people the second Friday of every month, and we do that sometimes at the park. But we're just seeing such a need. And, uh, you know, so many people are struggling due to unemployment with, with COVID and sickness and all these different things. And so uh, it's, it's a rough time in our, in our country, and we want to we wanna meet that need. I, I personally just really believe that it's always been the church's job to take care of people, not the government. And so uh, we are, we're, we see a need, so we're going to fill it. So every single Monday night, we do, we do Monday nights as our Sunday morning, Sure. not for any real religious reason or anything. We just don't want to be in competition with other churches. We want it to be a community uh, unity type night. We've been doing Monday nights for uh, four years on, at seven o'clock. And now we're going to feed people. We're going to do sandwiches and fruit and vegetables and, um, you know, sodas and coffee and all that every single Monday night at se uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, we'll do that for an hour and then we have our service at 7. And um, so we just, we know that people are starving. We meet people every single week that are downright, outright hungry. And if they do have something to eat, it's normally really bad quality food. They're eating ramen noodles yeah, that's all not, the time. That's, that sounds like the typical college menu. Right. It's really not good for that's you. That's what I did for that. three years at Liberty. It's not really, good, <laughs> not really good for you on a regular diet. No, no sir. No. So we're going to do vegetables and fruit and uh, also, you know, sandwiches with, with protein and all that. So we want to feed people and uh, help people out. And, you know, we, we find that a lot of times kind of our, our missing piece of the puzzle, I think, is that a lot of um, nonprofits, both secular and religious, kind of just give people things, right? It's like, okay, see you next week. And, and it's just kind of like giving people fish, you know? Um, but we want to give people fish and meet that, that need, but we also want to teach them to fish. And so our whole thing is that we build relationships with people that are in these predicaments. We don't just give them a meal. Like, these people have my phone, my personal phone number. Like... So these people come to our church on Monday nights, even after years of uh, being heroin addicts, meth addicts, alcoholics, and now they come every single week to join in with us. And so, yeah, Monday nights, it's it's open to anybody. It's not just for those in need. We have poor people, we have rich people, we have young, we have old, and it's it's really a community time to, to meet people's practical needs and hopefully their spiritual needs too. Well, you're located right there on Chester street uh and i know it's a lot of your people are in walking distance right. in our downtown area and in the south of main street there you know that's a particular social economic area of our town that's a uh, typically uh, have these needs that you're talking about right and i know that the uh, blue ridge food bank is really working and i think they're still going to run over the summer their food program that they've been pretty generous yeah. Uh, with, uh, but there's strings attached to that too. So, right. Uh, but yeah, they've they've done that. Now that'll and like I said, the COVID money is kind of running out for people. Right. And I noticed the food bank um, at the church have been running. Have uh, their customers have been down as far as uh, showing up every week because mm -hmm. they've had their COVID money. But right. you're starting to see an uptick now because that's uh, being reduced and eliminated and yeah. running out and. Uh, and then before you know it, it's hot right now, but it'll be winter time before yeah. before long, and people plan for it. But yeah. I notice you do a few other things uh, that you reach out. To, but it seems like this feeding is your thing here. Even you, and really you think about the gospel. You're supposed to be feeding people. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's a we got to feed their spiritual body as well as their their physical body. But yeah. uh, it's great work that you do down there. Yeah, and, thank you. Uh, and it's hard. 
I'm yeah. sure it takes somebody a little young uh, to get out there and, a little tough and do it. But I know you're motivated. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. you're motivated. So, uh, what kind of things uh, do we want to? Uh, how can we encourage people to participate in this? Because I'm yeah. sure you people are hesitant to come out. Right. Uh, to, to something that they're not familiar with. I mean, sure. Yeah. I mean, we're really laid back, number one, as far as being hesitant. I mean, we're, uh, I'm 28 years old, born and raised in Front Royal. My family goes back into Front Royal and Browntown for many generations. Sure. And, uh, you know, we're just really laid back people. I mean, I'm wearing a collar right now just because I knew Mike would have well, one I, on. Well, I, I, I told him, I said, you got dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. I normally <laughs> have a hat on backwards and a t-shirt. So, you know, we really... Yeah, um, stay young only so long, Brian. That's you right. You have to grow up. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. So, I mean, we really, um, we're really laid back. I mean, we're, uh, I don't know how to describe it better than that. I mean, I wear jeans with holes in them and you know, we're, we're, we're church, but we're also just really non-religious in that sense. You know, you could it's come in. stereotypical what yeah. you expect. I'll say it this way. You could definitely go have a, a evening at the Naughty Pine and then come to our church and fit in just fine. I'll say it that way. Yeah, so we a, really. If you know anything about the Naughty yeah, Pine. Uh, the, the front part of the Naughty Pine. <laughs> uh, even the back. <laughs> even the back. Uh, we're, we're an interesting group. You know, we, we really, we just want to love people and meet people where they're at. Whether you're well, that's addicted. The thing. And that's what I tell, you know, it starts where you're at. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Don't that's wait. It. Don't wait until, well, you're so deep in the hole or where right. you're so down that you don't feel you, you, you get depressed because you right. can't handle it. It's best to seek when people, there's a lot of helping hands out there. Yeah, that's it. you got to reach up and, and people will pull you, uh, help you pull you up. Absolutely. And that's kind of what you're doing. Yeah. I was an atheist in high school. So, you know, I didn't really grow up around uh, the church. I, I went to church some, but I, I really had a very mixed uh, upbringing. You know, we would go through times where we wouldn't go to church for years and, we did go as coats and ties and KJV sure. only Bible. That's and, right, right. You know, so uh, well, I, you're, I've changed. You're, you're, people say I go religiously. I go on Easter and Christmas. Uh huh. Right. right. <laughs> That's religiously. That's right. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're we're doing a lot to um, reach all different people groups. You know, we have a youth group on Wednesday nights. It's something kind of new. I don't know if I told you about that, yeah. but. Um, yeah, for about a year now, we've been doing a youth group on every Wednesday, and same thing. I mean, kids come in off the basketball court across the street. They, they'll be, I don't know, as many like 30, 40, 50 kids on the basketball uh, mm -hmm. court over at E. Wilson, and we just go over and bring them pizza, and they don't need to come over and worship with us or anything like that. Like, we just want to feed them and just love them and encourage them that, that you know, they, they're created in the image of God, they're loved, and if they need help, we're willing to help them. Right. And uh, you recently, lead by example, right? I mean, that's that's what you do. I think yeah. that's how people learn. Yeah, yeah. Recently, if I could tell this kind of cool story, um, recently we went over and just gave pizza to a bunch of them, and I said, "Hey, you know, come over if you want to hear some live music." Our worship team is a bunch of young guys too, you know, sixteen, seventeen year old kids, and um, one of them walked in, and uh, he had never been to church before since he was like really young. And uh, my one of my guys that I'm discipling, named Manny, he's you know leading worship, and the guy just stands there and he's just like, just kind of staring. And I was like, I wonder what's going on. You know, what's he yeah. thinking about? And um, he says to me later, I find out later, he says, I was an atheist. I didn't believe in God. He said, I just, I felt the love of God in here. Like I just knew that He was real and that He loved me. And I want to know him. And so we've been, you know, walking things out with him. It's been really cool. But that's kind of what we do, you know, is we just, we love to feed people. And we believe that the love of God just transforms people and brings them out of their their struggles and their trials and all these different things. So uh, anyway, so yeah, we do a youth group and that's awesome. And our Monday nights and um, we, we want to start back our addictions group at some point. We did an addictions group for years. Uh, but we want to get that going again because, like you said, we're really right in the middle of downtown, and um, we—that's kind of our, our people group that we're reaching. So, and also, I forgot to mention this: we also do a delivery-based um, food bank and at the center um, called Royal Love. We partner with um, Royal Oak Community Church, and they're amazing people over in the Martin's Shopping mm -hmm. Center. And uh, so we. We, uh, because we have a little bit more storage, we do, we keep their food and our food there at our church. And we, one Monday out of the month, people can just come and just take bags of food. And most of the people we, uh, that get the food are people at the hotels that are currently mm -hmm. homeless. I mean, I think a couple of Mondays ago, I think it was like 20, 25 bags went to just one hotel. 
And so if anybody ever needs even a delivery, if you're watching this and need delivery, then let us know. We deliver too, and um, we, we're, we're willing to help out. We really are. So, well, Brian, I appreciate you, all the work you're doing in our community. It's yeah, good. Thank you. Uh, letting the, your uh, Christ shine through you. So that's yeah. what we that's what we are to do. So. Yeah, thank you. That's if great. anybody ever wants to help out, I forgot to answer this part. Well, you got to have volunteers now. Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. We we actually need a lot more volunteers right now. Um, it's summertime. Normally, we have more people show up at the dinners in the summer. Mm -hmm. So if anybody ever wanted to donate food or um, bring a meal, then just uh, contact our Facebook page, just Love Revival Ministry Center on Facebook and. Come join us every Monday at 6 for dinner, 7 for service. Well, might find something that, uh, give them a call. You might find something that fits what you're looking for and, yeah. and people can help out. You know, yeah. I always like to use Ziegler's uh, phrase of people don't care how much you know until right. they know how much you care. So yep. you're a living example of that, I think. Yeah. So. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank, Thank you again so Thank much. Thank you.